This is the modern symbol of the Olympics and is the image on the modern Olympic flag. The five rings represent the continents of Africa, Asia, Australia, Europe and the Americas. The five parts of the world join together in the Olympic movement. The Olympic Games started in Greece in about 776 BC, almost 3,000 years ago. The first Olympic Games had just one competition, a short run of about 219 meters by male competitors. Women were not permitted to watch or compete in the Games. The Games took place every four years. By 632 BC, it was a five-day event and included other sports such as wrestling, throwing and chariot and horse racing. By 394 AD, however, Rome had conquered Greece. The Roman Emperor banned, or prohibited, the Olympic Games. More than 1,500 years later, a Frenchman, Pierre de Coubertin, brought back the Olympic Games. In June 1896, the Olympic Games were held in Athens, Greece. In 1924, the first Winter Olympics were held in Chamonix, France. The modern Olympic Games are held in different cities all over the world. But the team that always enters the arena first is the Greek team, as a reminder that the Olympic Games are a gift to the world from ancient Greece. Do you remember how many sports were in the first Olympics? Just one, a men's foot race. Today, there are more than 30 summer and more than 15 winter Olympic sports. And women have been participating since 1900. World politics have disrupted the modern Olympic Games a few times. But world peace has always been a goal of the Olympics. Let's look at the Olympic rings again. Do you see the colors? At least one of the colors, green, black, blue, red or yellow is included in the flag of every country in the world. At the Olympic Games, athletes compete hard to be the best they can be and to win for their countries. But even though they meet as competitors, when the athletes say goodbye, they are friends. <laughs>